I want to start up by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawu Bashim Yarashai, Kohala Yahawu Bashim Yarashai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Mill, so that told me the doctrine of truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. Bashim in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world evenly calls Jesus Christ. We know His name to be Yahweh Shai, which means He is the deliverer, He is the Savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. Bashim in the name of the Rakak Wadash, which means the Holy Spirit, that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. The so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or other speckled bird. Looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Hashem and Roshai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom, we've been discontinued from our heritage because we went on following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, such a commitment that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord Yahweh Roshai, Hamashiach being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father Yahweh to be able to open the seals of this book. To be able to give the understanding to the very elect, the remnant, the ones that would believe in the Messiah and believe that the Lord, uh, the Heavenly Father, had raised up His only begotten Son, Yahavashai, to be able to uh, give knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to the very elect, okay, to be able to give them an instruction and to be able to uh, make the vision clear, okay, and the vision is clear that uh, Babylon the Great, which is America today, is going to be destroyed, Okay, and what we're seeing is the downfall of uh, Babylon the Great, which was once, you know, looked at in the world as a beacon of light, you know, as a, a place of great trade, you know, great military, great economy. And now the world seeing it for exactly what it is, which is nothing but a, a, a great whore that fornicates with these different nations. And now her time is up. Okay, and her skirt is showing the 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 trickery, the um, the Masonic. Um, you know, push of totalitarianism, you know, to push towards, you know, saying that they're free when nothing's, nothing's free here. Okay. And when you live here, you really realize that America, okay, um, is actually, uh, goes back to the Hebrew word uh, Amara, which means bitter. Okay. And where this place is a bitter, uh, a state. Okay. Um, uh, because you have where the, the rulers and the society are not for the people. Okay. And what's happening is the, um, government is beginning to be exposed, which government means mind control, exposed for their wicked deeds, okay, which their wicked deeds are of, you know, enslaving the people, a new world order, a novus order succorum, which is on the back of your bill. So you have on the east that are controlling, um, you know, the, the BRICS nations, okay, which is led by what, Russia, which BRICS is an acronym from Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, and I believe six more other uh, nations have joined unto uh, the BRICS nations to come up against what the West, which is controlled by America, okay, uh, spearheading the charge of the, you know, the beast system, which the the, de the beast system is a deadly uh, Roman Empire, you know, uh, that deadly wound being healed, okay, and it comes in the form of America spearheading the charge and NATO joined unto it. And through their military and through their commerce, they're able to dominate um, the four corners of the earth, okay, with that great sword, but also with their, their enchantments on the people. But now the Lord has raised up these nations right here to, to um, be on the left left hand side of things, but to be um, a thorn in what America, okay, because America believes that they can be able to uh, rise up out of the ash as far as the, the elites that control America, because America is nothing but a corporation, okay, but they're going to be broken and be desolate, okay, and this is one of the signs, so this is from Al, Al Jazeera, okay, it says, Briggs condemns Israel war on Gaza and signal to the West, yeah, so signal to the West that we're not going to go along with your, um, you know, your, uh, your, your psyops anymore. We're not going to go along with your propaganda, you know, constantly, you know, uh, framing mischief by law. Okay. You know, saying it's one thing, but it's actually another running different psyops where they have, you know, certain events happen and then so they can be able to come in like a flood. Okay. So they're being exposed, you know, speaking about America for the things that they're doing. Okay. And these different nations are not um, complying. Okay, and now what that shameful spewing is a bit begin to uh, come on America. 
okay? Habakkuk 2 and 16. <clears throat> uh, actually, let me start from, and I'll skip around. This is Habakkuk 2, and this is the reason why, okay? Because this is for a future time that uh, America, which was, which was once seen as that beacon of light, is now become uh, nothing but a, a, a pet, uh, you know, nothing but a, um, you know, a pest, okay, nothing but a, a worthless bug, okay, nothing but uh, something, you know, um, small going into what being unimportant, okay, Habakkuk 2 and 3, it says, this vision is for a future time, it describes the end, yeah, and so people are starting to be begin to see them as a, as a pestilence, okay, as a, a, a disease, okay, and who, who was the only person that could be able to cure that disease is our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, because he's known as the physician and he's coming to what cure up all diseases as far as to make us clean. Okay, uh, through the washing and the water of this word and ultimately to change us in the twinkle of an eye, but also to put down all these nations in rule and authority. And to cleanse this place with the firing agent, which is going to be those ICBM missiles and also uh, the Lord's laser beams of fire. that are going to be coming from his uh, chariot, which the world even calls UFOs. Okay. Habakkuk 2 and 3, it says, this vision is for a future time. It describes the end in the NLT. And it will be fulfilled if it seems slow in coming. Wait patiently for it. It will surely take place. It will not be delayed. So these things are not being delayed. They're actually being stirred up. And what's the vision? The prophecies, okay, that the mark of the beast will be implemented before World War Three, Okay, but there would also be a World War Three as far as um, these different uh, SAR mats, these different Saint twos that are firing off would fire fire off. There would be over what uh, two hundred million of them, okay. And each one of these warheads or these you know, each one of these silos that has these arrows in it, okay, they have over uh, ten to fifteen warheads inside of them, okay, that are going to be firing off. So that that vision is for a point in time, okay, and it's speaking by having. These different nations were aligning against America because America's not going to go for it. They're known as the hammer of the earth, and that's how they're going to be broken is by their military. Okay, because their military is very feeble right now, and they're being made thin by being in all these different nations. I just saw where, you know, America is sending over uh, certain resources over there to UK. Okay, and with them sending over certain resources, these uh, certain spots is going to lead to them where they're thin at home. Okay, which makes them more vulnerable. Habakkuk 2 and 4, it says, look at the proud, they trust in themselves and their lives are crooked, but they, but their righteous will live by their faithfulness to the Most High. That's right, because and the proud is speaking about Esau, Edom. They live by, you know, by their trickery, by the sorcery, but now there's a time that's appointed that they cannot pass, okay, where that shameful spilling would come upon them and the righteous glory of our Lord Yahweh Shai would shine upon those men, okay, that believe and they would be on the highways and the byways and they would be fighting, you know, the adversities, the suffering, and, you know, into the, the defense of the gospel, okay? Habakkuk 2 and 5, it says, Wealth is treacherous and arrogant are never at rest. They open their mouths as wide as the grave and like death they are never satisfied. In their greed they have gathered up many nations and swallowed up many people. So, that's why you have America has over 800 military bases in everybody's, you know, uh, backyard. Why? Because they are uh, gaining wealth. They're, they're, they're not helping any of these countries. What they're doing is they're, they're stealing, you know, uh, whatever type of resource that they have. And they'll come in with uh, usury by giving them, you know, a lot of money that they can never pay back. And then when they when uh, when these uh, when Esau Edom comes in back for his money. OK, what does he do? He says, you, you owe me. Okay, let me build, you know, let me build the uh, U.S. Embassy. Let me build a Coca-Cola factory, you know, and we're going to make some money. And what happens is people start to uh, sell out. And what happens, that's how these different, again, these bases and the influence of, uh, of uh, you know, Esau Edom, of Americanization, okay, goes around the four corners of the earth. And they have swallowed many people. How have they swallowed them up? By their military, okay, by their lies, by their deception. Okay, but this is what the captives are saying now. Habakkuk 2 and 6 in the NLT. But soon their captives will taunt them. They will mock them saying, what sorrow awaits you thieves? Now you will get what you deserve. You become a rich by ex exhortor like, um, rich by extortion. But how much longer can this go on? And that's basically what these nations are saying. Because these nations have been ruled with the continual sword. Okay. 
uh, China and a lot of these uh, people, um, they have Esau Edom that's in influence in their society. Okay, and they're bought and paid bought, paid for as far as these different uh, political officials are paid for. Okay, and we know that China also has uh, influence of the Edomites. They've always been over there since uh, the time of Meyer, which Meyer goes into a, a, a evil ruler uh, that was in China that that knocked off millions of his own people through what famine. Okay, so, and that was used, uh, the shifts, I believe it was, um, were a part of, a part of that whole, whole thing as far as the financing of it. Okay, so these, these people, they might look Chinese or different nations, but actually a lot of them are probably, um, a lot of them are Edomites. Okay, because again, they've been mixed in, they've been mingled amongst the nations. Okay, just like we have. So it says, um, uh, this is the grouping which has previously focused on economic issues call for an end to war and crimes and Gaza conflict. So what is this going to lead to? More war. Okay, it says leaders of major emerging economies called for an end to Israel's war on Gaza Tuesday and for sensation of hostilities on both sides to ease the rapidly uh, deteriorating humanitarian crisis in Gaza Strip. Yeah, because, uh, you know, last time I checked, on this site, there was like 15,000 that just got knocked off, okay? So this is increasing more and more, and this is a genocide. Why? Because Esau Edom wants that land, okay? So they're doing war crimes to um, to actually achieve that land, okay? Micah 2 and 2 in the NLT, it says, when you want a piece of land, you find a way to seize it. When you want someone's house, you take it by fraud and violence. You cheat a man of his property, stealing his family's inheritance, okay? And that land over there is not the Palestine's land, and it's also not the small hands land. It's actually the land that was given to uh, the Israelites by the Heavenly Father, okay? So that's why there's war over there, because those are not the people that are in that land. And we're not on the side of, of Palestine. We're not on the side of what? Those small hats. We're on the side of what? Prophecy. Fulfilling prophecy. And, the, and it speaks about at the end, there shall be what? Nation against nation. Class wars and civil wars. Also what? The least of the flock shall draw them out. So the least of the flock, the least of, of, of the Edomite nation, okay, would be what? Those small hats. Amalek. So with that, that's going to lead to what? World War Three. Why? Because it's prophecy. But well, what they're doing right now is, is doing a land grab. But we know that, that that's not their land. Okay? And ultimately, that's going to end up being cleansed by what the fire agents. Ezekiel 36 and 5. Therefore, thus said the Lord, thy power, surely in that fire of my jealousy, I have spoken against that residue of the heathen against all the Idumeans. So the Idumeans actually goes back, the, I, the word Idumea, it goes back to the Greek word, uh, uh, the Greek word, um, well, is a Greek word, idumia, it means red, okay, going into the pigmentation of Esau, Edom, going back to the Hebrew word, uh, Edom, okay, so the Lord has a perpetual hatred for Esau, Edom, okay, the idumians, okay, which would be the so-called white men of today, therefore thus said that power surely in the fire of my jealousy, I have spoken against thy residue of the heathen against all the idumia, which have appointed my land, Good ones. Dude. Slakia. Ezekiel 36 and 5. It says, Therefore thus said thy Lord, thy power, surely in my fire and my jealousy, I have spoken against the residue of the heathen, against all I do be. So again, those that are in that land, those small hats that are over there in the land, because that is not their land, which have appointed my land into their possession. Yes, so they did that in what the Balfour, Balfour Declaration, okay, which they started, I believe, in 1917, and it came out about 1948. Okay, and then what did you have? You had war right after that. Okay, there's been constant war. Why? Because again, those are not the people. It says, which have appointed my land unto their possession with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds to cast out for a prey. Yeah, they have taken my uh, the Lord's land what, uh, from the people to what? Plunder it. Okay, what have they done? They've put forth Tel Aviv, you know, Krizlam. Okay, all these different abominations. Okay, and there is a judgment for... Um, you know, uh, coming against the Lord, okay, and that judgment is coming down for, you know, the stealing of land. It also speaks about, you know, not to steal another man's land, okay, but through what they're, uh, the transgression of wine, 
okay, their philosophies, they've gone to everyone's piece of land and taken it, okay, and now there is, what, a judgment for that. This is Isaiah 13, Isaiah 13 and 9, um, let's see, it's actually 14, Isaiah 14, yeah, right here, Isaiah 14 and 6, it says, you, it says, you stroke the people with endless blows of rage and held the nations in your angry grip with unrelenting tyranny. And that's exactly what America has done with their military. Okay, a continual stroke of endless blows. Okay, but now that there's a time and an end. Okay, and now these, these uh, uh, weak nations are now saying they're strong. Okay, Isaiah 14 and 9. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at the coming. It stir up the, the dead. Yeah, because these nations were once dead, but now they're alive because they have... Uh, you know, uh, a military, okay, or they have, uh, you know, uh, allies, good allies, okay, so that makes them alive, okay, they're coming and stirred them up dead for the, even all the chief ones, yeah, so chief goes into, uh, chief goes to Rayash, okay, and so what are they doing, these, these chief ones, these kings are being what, uh, stirred up, okay, to what, uh, fight one another, okay, it says, of the earth had raised up from their thrones and the kings of the nations. It says, all they shall speak and say unto thee, are thou also become as weak as we? Are thou become like unto us? So that's what these nations are saying. Okay. And, and with that shameful spewing on their name, far as the way that America has been, you know, using the world and abusing the world. Okay. Now that's making them unemployment, uh, unimportant into trade. Okay, Obadiah 1 and 2 is, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. So small goes into unimportant. Okay, so you had you had the petrol dollar uh, that America had everyone using, and now people are starting to use their own currency. Okay, or they're starting to use the border system. Okay, trade for trade. Instead of having the petrol dollar, which, what what does it do? It, it um, It's a, uh, it's nothing but a Ponzi scheme. Okay, and these heathen nations have finally caught on to that. Okay, behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. Yes, yeah, so they are greatly despised among these heathen. So what are they these heathen doing? They're lighting up to come against America and the NATO. Okay. Skipping down to uh, seven, it says, All your allies in the NLT, all your allies will turn against you. They will help to chase you from your land. They will promise you peace while plotting to deceive and destroy you. Your trusted friends will set traps for you and you won't even know about it. That's right, because um, the one's friends, you know, because, <laughs> you know, even in when you're in, in the world, OK, when you're, uh, you know, into these different factions of, of, of places. Right. Uh, you know, who are you going to turn to when that's the only lifestyle you've been in for your whole life? So this devil has been a devil his whole life. So what is he going to do? He's going to turn to other people that are just like him, okay? And these and these people are not going to be able to help him because they've already turned their back on what they they believe the lesser evil, which is what the the Eastern Edomites, okay, which is Russia, okay. But the, they're still Edomites, okay. So they're still not to be trusted. So ultimately, for not trusting in Yahweh Shemashai, there's going to be a. Uh, um, you know, shameful spewing on everyone's account because all knees shall bow to our Lord Yahweh Rashad. Okay, and that's what's happening is one kingdom is being put down, Esau Edom's uh, kingdom, as far as the fulfillment of the Gentiles, us being under the Gentiles. Okay, and the and the kingdom of Yahweh Rashad went rising up. Okay. So this is Habakkuk. Let me go back to 2 and 16. So Habakkuk 2 and... So these different nations that were once in trade, like Saudi Arabia, like Iran, like China, okay, are now starting to what come against America. And they're starting to openly say certain things about what America is doing and how they're committing mass genocide and things like that. Uh, Turkey, the, uh, the president, uh, Erdogan, I believe his name is, um, he said that, you know, he doesn't like what they're doing. Okay, and Turkey is a longtime member of what NATO Okay, and NATO's and, and Turkey's already been kind of doing deals with Russia. Okay, because even though they're in the midst of talking about World War Three and aligning, okay, they're still doing deals. Okay, because again, this is the wicked. They're still doing deals with each other, as far as on certain things. Okay, but they're also cutting off resources on other things. Okay, 
So again, Habakkuk 2 and 6, but soon their captives will taunt them. They will mock them saying, what sorrow awaits you thieves? Now you will get what you deserve. You become rich by extortion, but how much longer can this go on? Suddenly your debtors will take action. They will turn on you and take all you have while you stand there trembling and helpless. Because you have plundered many nations, now all your survivors will plunder you. You committed murder throughout the countryside and filled towns with violence. Yep, and that's exactly what they have done. Okay, and they're doing it again over there in what the Gaza Strip. Okay, and what are they saying? War crimes. It says we condemned any. It says we condemned any kind of individual of mass forcible transfer or depot, uh, deportation of Palestinians from their own land. A chair summary read the group which did not issue a joint declaration also reiterated that the forced transfer depopulation of Palestine, whether inside Gaza or neighboring countries, constitute grave breaches of Geneva Conventions and war crimes and violations under international humanitarian law. So there's actually law uh, when it comes down to, uh, you know, the way that you're supposed to uh, the way that you're supposed to move. Okay, you're not supposed to just, you're not supposed to you know blow up uh, hospitals. I believe you know you're not supposed to blow up schools. Okay, and what are they doing? They're doing that. Okay, and they're so again they're they're uh, <laughs> and what's happening? They're still able to be promoted because they're not in trouble like others. This is Psalm seventy three. It says in five, it says they are not in trouble as others. Neither are they playing like other men. And what are we speaking about? We're speaking about Esau, Edom, the wicked. OK, they're able to go about just openly committing a, a genocide on that on that particular area. And it's not just that area. That's just the one that's that's new. Look at what they did to Ukraine. So now. Uh, yeah. So so now they're, they're getting um, hit in the media. But what happens? They control the media. OK, so they are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride can pass them about as a chain of violence, cover them as a garment. Yeah. So as a. Uh, pride, it looks like a jewel necklace, and it clothes themselves with cruelty, okay? Because just because you want a piece of land you uh, that you made an agreement with, because also they made an agreement with those Palestinians to be in that land, okay? But again, it's not either one of their lands, okay? And what's happening is the Lord's actually showing that through what the judgment that's going on over there, okay? But the pride is compassing about far as these, these uh, Amalek, Okay. It says, these fat cats have everything that their hearts could ever wish for. Yeah, so they have everything they wish for. Okay, but what do they want? They want that land to, to, to the fulfillment of what prophecy they say. Okay, but what they're doing is they're fulfilling prophecy by being the, the synagogue of Satan. Okay, they scoff and speak only evil in their pride. They seek to crush others. Yeah, so they seek to crush others in the things that they do. Okay, they're different psyops. When they were firing off, the, when, they, when they had that, uh, that thing happen in Hamas, Okay, a lot of that's been said that that was actually a cover up. Okay, that they that was an inside job. Okay, but what what and that what's happened now? You know, thousands of people have died because of the um, because of that psyop. Okay, and what they're painting is they're painting a, a picture that if you're anti a small hat, then you're gonna be um, you're gonna be in those camps. Okay, you're gonna be a dissident. Okay. This is the time we're heading to a time of Jacob's trouble where you're not going to be able to just speak about anything you want to speak about, where, where the access to the word is going to be cut off and only those that are of the elect are going to have that access between uh, them and the Lord. Psalm 73 and 8, it says, They scoff and speak only evil in their pride. They seek to crush others. They boast against the very heavens and their words strut throughout the earth. Yeah, so they're boasting against the heavens because with the technology they have, they believe they have um, you know, found a way to have immortality, okay, when the Lord is the one that issues out whether you live or whether you die, okay, but again, this devil is uh, coming with his pride, okay, it says, and they are boasting one against the heavens by also, you know, saying that they are the people when they're not, and basically saying that, you know, the Lord won't do this or do that, okay, because what, and it says that in wisdom of Solomon too, that they will shall seek the, you know, test your Lord, okay, and, they, and the, the test has already been passed, but it has to be played out. Psalm 73 and 10, it says, And so the people are dismayed and confused, drinking all their words. And that's what happens is people begin to drink all their words, just like when they uh, the thing happened a couple years ago. What they do? They went right down there, even though they didn't have to. Okay, so this is what's going on in the society is people are... Uh, 
that are, you know, that don't have the truth are just drinking all the words of these devils and what they're saying. And what are they coming with? Their strong philosophy, their strong wine. Okay. And these different nations are starting to what say, we don't, we don't want to be a part of that. Okay. But again, these are heathen nations They're, they are, they are, you know, part of the, uh, the problem. Okay. Yeah. So the Geneva war crimes, I think I have it up a little bit. So this is part of the, the UN and what is this United Nations. So it says the genocide prevention and the responsibility to protect. So they're supposed to be protected. And this is what the type of atmosphere that they do. They just blow apart whole areas that are beautiful. So, you know, okay. So in the Geneva, there's certain things you're not supposed to do. Okay. Willful killing, torture, inhumane treatment, including biological experiments. So they were doing that in Ukraine. Okay, willful causing great suffering. Yeah, they do that here by the barium aluminum being in the air, you know, the uh, the, the mercury in the water. Okay, uh, the constant, uh, you know, vibrations through the radiation. Okay, so there, there's all sorts of, you know, things that are going on right now. Um, yeah, willful depriving a prisoner of war, other protected persons' rights. Okay. Um, taking in hostages. So there's a certain way that you're supposed to do certain things. And these uh, nations have all agreed upon a way that they're going to, way they're going to uh, push. Okay. But also just to let you know, the UN is also part of what the IMF, which is all also part of the biotechnology, the technology that they want to put inside your hand or your forehead. See all these um, so-called places that are supposed to be helping they're actually the, they're the same people that are actually, um, you know, putting down the problem action solution. Okay. That's all part of their, their, um, their thing is to what problem action solution. Okay. They're the same people as right here, the IMF. IMF director orders governments to fast track worldwide ban on physical cash. Yeah. Because why? Because they want all the cash to be inside of your hand or your forehead so they can be able to control it. So the IMF is actually backed by the, the UN. Let me see if it's in this. I've done lessons about it. <clears throat> Let's see real quick. Yeah, so the International Monetary Fund. So this is all the CBDC. So you have carbon footprint, okay, which is the, you know, basically, you know, where you go, what you say, what you do is going to be how you're going to be able to move in the society. Okay, I can't find it right now, but if you just look up IMF to Monetary Fund and then uh, to UN, it's connected in, it's connected in the same thing. OK, and they follow the, the ways of um, of the elites. OK, and what they want, which is what a, um, a cashless society. OK, where the global elites can control what ordinary people spend their money on. Yep. And so, again, but how do they have to do it? They have to push it by fear. Also saying that we're in a war because, again, when, when they're in war, OK, they're able to make what a lot of money. And so you also have where um, this right here. This is another article. It says Euro Med Monitor to UN. Okay, recognize Israel's actions in Gaza as genocide. Okay. So this is now they're out openly saying that this is a, a genocide. Okay. But what is actually happening? Nothing. Okay. So this is, <laughs> you know, and this is what happens with when you're dealing with Esau Edom. Okay. When you're dealing with the wicked, they're able to commit crimes and be able to get away with it. Okay, but this time the Lord's going to what be judging um, Esau Edom. All right, so this is just, you know, saying, yeah, 17,000. Okay, that's how much they're estimating. 13, you know, 13, 15,000. Yeah, so now it's 33,800. So what in the past goddamn week? Salakia. Salakia. 
Okay, so yeah, hundred, hundreds of victims' bodies are still missing under the rubble of peoples are among the corpses scattering in Gaza streets and borders areas impossible to locate, retrieve right now. The human rights organization, which stated the actual death toll is likely exceeds 20,000. Okay, 60,000 60, housing units in Gaza Strip have partially damaged. So this is what this devil does when he comes in. Okay, he's like a roaring, uh, roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Okay. This is Psalms 58 and 2. It says, Know you plot injustice in your hearts. You spread violence throughout the land. And that's what they constantly do. They're spreading violence throughout the land. Okay, wherever that wherever they go. And wherever they go is nothing but uh either um uh, you know uh death, okay, deceiving or or destroying, okay. Joel 15 and 35, they conceive mischief and bring forth vanity in their belly prepared to see. So they're constantly prepared for what to see. Okay. Even if they get caught in, um, you know, caught in something. Okay. in something that they said, what do they do? They just, they smile and they wink like they didn't do nothing. Okay. Because this is the devil. Psalm 7 and 14, behold, he travailed with iniquity. He had conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. Yeah. So um, they, they're evil with... Let me read in the NLT. The wicked conceive evil. They are pregnant with trouble and give birth to lies. Yeah, they give birth to lies. And that's what they fed all these different uh, heathen nations. Okay. That were once what? Because America was once that golden cup. That sat in the Lord's hands, right? Um, and now what? Shameful spilling is coming upon that, that glory. This is Jeremiah 50. Maybe it's at the top. Let's see. Oh, 51. Let's lock in. Jeremiah 51. Yeah, and 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand, and he made all the earth drunken, and the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Yes, yeah, so the nations are actually mad and upset because, again, Babylon the Great has, has sold them all these dreams, but it was nothing but lies and the deception. And America owes a lot of money, okay? So now uh, these different nations have drunken of that wine, which is the philosophies, the fornication of Babylon the Great, okay, which is, goes into all sorts of uh, wickedness, okay? Now now these different nations are mad, okay? And what are they going to do? They're going to use their, their military and their commerce to be able to push um, Babylon the Great down, which Babylon is America today. Okay, Babylon going into confusion. Jeremiah 50 and 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations were drunken of her wine, wherefore the nations are mad. Babylon has suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bomb for her pain? If so be, she may be healed. So why is Babylon the Great uh, not going to come back up? Because it's set up to be a great desolate destruction. Okay. And it's a sudden fall going into, uh, because again, people are going to think they still got time. Okay. And there's going to be no, uh, um, a bomb is what a medicine. There's not going to be no medicine to be able to heal uh, this great whore. Okay. It says we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed for her sake. Her and let us go everyone into his own country for her judgment reaches into the heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. That's right. Because again, going into these different nations, they're seeing, uh, the certain things that are going on with America and how it's actually falling, okay? And it's falling first by its economy, okay? The economy inside is being destroyed, okay? And ultimately, that's going to be the downfall of the outside of it, okay? Those ICBM missiles coming through, okay? All right, so go back to this article. So the BRICS is made up of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, all major emerging economies looking for a greater say in global order long dominated by the United States and its Western allies, these countries. Yeah, so that's that golden cup, okay, because uh, the Western, you know, speaking about America, has been dominating all those different nations. It says these countries are often viewed as leaders of what as referred to as international policy speak as the global south. But it wasn't just these five countries that spoke on the war on Tuesday. Earlier this year, the BRICS have agreed to expand and add Egypt, Ethiopia, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, UAA, 
and Iran as members from 2024. So with Iran being in there, okay, that's going to lead to what, um, you know, Israel, you know, because Israel has a long time beef with what Iran. Okay, so um, and Israel is the is the pimp of the of the core. Okay, which is America, and the least of the flock shall draw them out. Far as the least of, of the Edomite nations, which is Amalek, is going to what draw draw out. Okay, uh, America to this fight. Okay, and one of them is going to be through what Iran. Okay, Iran uh, being a, a guard to what the Persians. Okay, in Ezekiel thirty eight. Okay, and they've already. Uh, Russia's already uh, spoken about that too, far as, uh, you know, Russia's already sending stuff to Iran because, again, they were already uh, doing dealings. So I'll get this, I'll just get this right here. This is Jeremiah 49 and 20. This is. Jeremiah 49 and 20, therefore hear the counsel of Yahweh, hath he had taken against Edom, so again the Idumians, okay, it says, and it proposes that he proposed against the inhabitants of Teman, yeah, so the Teman are the smartest of, of what the Edomites, which are the, what the, the Germans, okay, the so-called Germans today, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out, surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them, so the least of the flock is what the, the small has that over there, going to draw out what America, to be what desolate, Okay, from all these different nations, what firing back? <clears throat> okay, this is the leaders of these six countries, so also six. Okay, tries also participate in the meeting called by South Africa, United Nations Secretary General Antony Gutierrez joined the summit too. So, these different six nations, okay. Um, and sometimes they have spiritual meetings with the with the number six, okay, going into the number of the beast, okay. Uh, not that these are the beast system, but that this is on the left hand side, okay. This is this is their chart summary is in the essence a gist of the moon and room. The highlights growing calls from global south to end of the war. The Gaza Strip, the conflict between, so again, wars and rumors of wars. And what Russia is set up major in prophecy to be a part of this, okay? And they're gathering with those different nations to be a guard, okay? Which is ultimately going to lead to what the shameful spewing of this of America, America today. This is Habakkuk 2 and 15. It says, what sorrow awaits who make you neighbors drunk? You force your cup on them so you can gloat over their shameful nakedness. But soon it will be your turn to be disgraced. Come drink and be exposed. Drink from the cup of Yahweh's judgment and all your glory will be turned to your shame. So all their glory is what beginning to what turn to their shame and ultimately um, then being destroyed and put down in their place. And what Babylon the Great being desolate. Okay. And our Lord Yahweh Shai being glorified through what the destruction of what Babylon the Great. Okay. Um, let, me, let me actually get a scripture. Yeah, this is it. This is Jeremiah 51, 11. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields, and Yahweh had raised up the, the spirit of the Medes, so I can the spirit of the kings of the Medes, so the Medes are what? The Russians today. Okay, for his device is against Babylon, which is America today. Okay, to destroy it, be, and what's that device? Those ICBM missiles, because it is the vengeance of Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. Set up that standard upon thy walls of Babylon, Okay, and make the watch strong, set up the watchmen, prepare the ambushes for Yahweh had done and devised and done that which he spoke against the inhabitants of Babylon. O thou dwellest upon many waters, yeah, so a many waters goes into commerce, about in treasures, thy end is come and thy measure of thy covenants. Yeah, so the, 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 the life that you were living by stealing everybody else's stuff is now come. The Lord Yahweh of hosts, hosts means armies, has sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up thy shout against thee. That's right, because going into those ICB uh, missiles are like what caterpillars or swarming locusts, because what do they do? They cut down uh, the atmosphere, making what Babylon the Great desolate. So with that, call Allah Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq Wadash, Shalom to the Lek, Kwam Yashallah.